All right. Well, it's been about a year, um, and I'm going through playing as like my I'm doing my Proto Man only uh, challenge run, and you know it, it's it's pretty fun. Uh, similarly, like people are continue to be <laughs> shitheads. Uh, it's it's just wild. Like when basically I've, uh, you know, I've come up with strats that like world top runners like Rish and Goomba utilize and like Prof, who's an admin for the Rockman EXE zone, has allowed me to create guides and pages and stuff on it and... The, like I am the sole contributor to Team BN's notes about BCC and yet magically there are still individuals out there who are shitheads about my advice but you know I was going back through and I realized that some of my opinions have changed about some of these chips um, and basically, um, the zero megabyte ones, they're, they're the same, like, uh, there's nothing really that's different about them. Um, uh, Mindbender has of course stayed at the top of S tier. Um, Rock Cube is still here, um, but it's likely that I would go ahead and move uh, Candle One up. Uh, it just comes up so often, like it's it's typically multiple turns that you get a little bit of healing, and if your enemy doesn't have a basic attack that stuns, well, you just recover from stun, and it it comes up if you're like hard counter zap rings, um, bubbler and mag bomb uh, are about the same. Uh, Bubbler's just a slight amount of damage. It's really accurate, which is why it's fun. But you know, mag bomb probably be here if you're just down bad for uh if you're just really down bad for some kind of way to stun your opponent and do a little bit of add damage or add all damage um these are way cheaper than za any zap rings uh, and of course uh Recov 10, uh, putting these in, in your folder, especially if you're running a Navi that's, like, pretty low on megabytes, um, these in your back row will soak hits, and even if you're running a Navi that's moderate to high on megabytes, putting them in your back row can still be helpful because it allows you to invest heavily in, you know, elsewhere, in something like a high megabyte cost chip. So uh, that's really it for the changes to the zero to 10 megabytes. Um, go ahead and take a look at the 20 megabytes. Uh, this one has also changed quite a bit um go ahead and uh first of all uh catcher top of s tier uh getting this just helps you throughout the entirety of the rest of your run um there's no way to overstate the usefulness 
of this chip, and especially considering how bonkers the calculation for ranking is. Um, this helps you get chips along your route uh, Uh, tree bomb three helps you get the elemental swords which are superior to the elemental blades um, it still triggers its effect even when it's deleted so you just put this in one of your slot chips and forget about it just leave it there the entire game and enjoy your battle rewards um, let's see uh, Magbomb 2 is, is still here. Spice 1 is a very decent, uh, it's a very decent way, uh, in the, to, f thing to farm from Higsby shop, uh, before you have access to Spice 2 from the sunset, uh, you basically put two tree bombs in your front row. Uh, that hits electrics for super effective. Uh, if it's an aluminum stage, it changes it to grass. And then that allows you to follow up with the spice chips, which deal even more damage. And they tank hits like nobody's business. Except from like Whirlpool and, and Black Hole. But nothing tanks hits from those. Um... Let's see, Magbomb 2 uh, stays at the top of the list for the stun plus add-all. Again, much cheaper than the Zap Rings, at, which are 40 megabytes. Um, but we do have uh, Panel Out is has actually gone up, in my opinion, as a slot chip. Um, especially when you're up against a lot of navvies, like the elemental navvies, who the best thing they can manage is sword strats. Uh, this is surprisingly effective. Um, especially against certain fire navvies, uh, it's obviously it's not going to be effective against... Uh, goodness, that's Magic Man, because he fights on a whole field in uh, post game anyway but it's it's really good um, the all right next up uh, from uh, I would say aluminum stage has moved up quite a bit um uh fan has moved down substantially after bug testing um i would put this in c tier like the action economy is not really worth it outside of removing box chips um Let's see. Uh, fast gauge and slow gauge. Uh, really good. I would I would say they're probably better than anything else in this tier. Um, let's see. We've got. Mm, air shoes is like there's no reason to really use it aside from a way to alter the stage to give you an advantage so stage altering chips do uh what it does but better so even like repair is probably better than any of these Uh, long sword is pretty whatever. Um, Recover eighties not that great. Uh, 
long sword. It's okay. Um, yeah, Geddon. Geddon deserves to be up here. Um, grass stage and fire stage don't really do a lot. Like they're they're probably better than most of these, but Recov twenty is a decent early game slot chip. Um, not necessarily for like rating purposes of maintaining the eighty percent and above, but just for the ability to survive fights that you otherwise wouldn't. Um, now that I think about it, um, I don't know. Repair is probably also better than most of the rest of the stuff. Uh, the kunai is pretty crap. This is pretty bad. Yeah. These these are probably going to be like your go tos. Uh, maybe uh, something more like this. Yeah. That's about right. I mean, I could I could sit here and tinker with this and like maybe move an ad chip up or down, but this is generally how I feel anymore about 20 megabytes. So we'll move right on to the 30 megabyte list. Uh, this one has changed very drastically. A lot of the defensive chips have gone down. Um, first things first, um, the elemental balloons are incredible across the playthrough. Uh, they just, they'll, they can stay in your folder throughout the entire rest of it just to counter, especially like mid, mid all the way through the post game. They'll be useful. Um, let's see. We've got quite a bit to change here. Yeah. Uh, Bub Cross. Highly, highly underrated chip. Um, once you get to a certain point in your save file, your counter to fire navvies will probably be uh, heat balls 
on like your front row and three of these on your second, considering that you know some fire navvies fight from a whole field. Um, so once you once you graduate from aqua swords, um, this get like will hit any of them. I don't think there's. I don't think even Heatman has high enough of a dodge rate to avoid Bub Cross. Uh, uh, Fire Sword and Elect Sword are much better than I initially gave them credit. Uh, they are superior still to the elemental blades um, and of course uh, spice to uh, this is what you'll probably end up manipping from sunset to replace your spice ones let's see and then that's really it um, I've got some stuff to move down obviously from S tier. Uh, I think I put uh, stone bod moved down a tier. Medium cloud stayed where it is. Uh, leaf shield. Leaf shield's still pretty good. It's just not. It's not S tier. Um, yeah, bubble wrap similarly. Move down. Uh, prism and mine um, and then of course there was a chip that moved up quite a bit let me find which one and that is cold punch um, Cold Punch is not as good as Aqua Sword. Uh, it shares its weakness to the whole field. However, um, if you need elemental priority on something cheap for breaking with you know, good enough accuracy, um, there's nothing better. I mean, especially on. Uh, late game fight against Skullman when he throws up like a curse shield your 30 megabyte chip probably on the second row you have to wait for him to establish it and then it's going to out prioritize and you use a 30 megabyte chip to break a curse shield 3 so you're not going to care if this gets deleted later so the low HP doesn't even matter um and uh, the rest of these, uh, I don't know, like, I guess you could, uh, uh, I actually ended up using Magbomb 3s quite a bit in BNCT. Um, I initially kind of gave them a bad rap. I gave them a bad rap probably due to uh, like their their low accuracy but they really can come in clutch um, so if you feel like manipping these from the shop uh, they're probably pretty good uh, Recov 150. You know, 
decent decent slot option again for survival uh, in the middle game or like early to middle game and I guess that's yeah I'd probably move That looks much better, um, just from what I've experienced over the last year. And that is it for the 30 megabytes. Still have a good amount of time. I can probably get through this whole list in under an hour. Uh, 40 megabyte uh, this list also changed not quite as drastically as the 30 megabyte one but enough um, spice 3 and shadow 1 are still like top of the line for 40 megabytes. Um, if I can find. Uh, freeze bomb. You're not going to encounter. It does not drop in game. So it's shit here. Uh, I know all of the. Like BCC plays. BCC fanboys out there. Are going to lose their shit. But you know. Sorry, it's copium chip. Uh, all right, uh, bub spread. You know, this stays in here as you know, this is something you can replace bub cross later on when you need to hit fire navvies harder. Again, super accurate. Let's see elect blade and fire blade move up uh, and I don't remember yeah okay anti recov and anti sword aren't fantastic they're highly situational but you know probably better than anything in D tier alright uh, spreader moves down And oh, yeah, uh, Geyser really kind of highly situational, only works on a whole field. That's, yeah. That's looking pretty good. Uh, 50 megabyte list changed a little bit.
tree bomb three, um, you're probably going to want two of these, even in your final folder. Uh, shadow three, similarly. Uh, if you really, in the late game, if you have a lot of megabytes and you want to upgrade your shadow ones, um, it's probably the way to go. Bulk Bomb moves down a bit. It's not as good as Poltergeist. No. And sensors. That's... Oh, um, something else, uh, Burner, uh, shoutouts to BNCT again, uh, really good chip, um, I'll probably move Meteors down to like, eh, they're shit, we'll just be honest, Meteors are shit to your chips, um, Let's see. All right. It's enough for 50 megabytes. And then last list changes. Shadow 3 and Anubis are probably the best two chips for this category. Um, Jealousy will move up. Um, this one is so good. Um, Shadow Three Anubis. Uh, jealousy, if your other slot is catcher, this just, in the, I believe it's the late game slash early post game, this just can wipe your enemy's slot chips, um, so you can get a nice two for one. Uh, and of course that assumes you're on, like, probably fast gauge strats if those are in your back row uh, and you farm if you like farmed quick man for four of those uh, you can make really good use of jealousy um, I'd probably probably put time bomb here and that's pretty much it thus far um course keep everyone updated if uh any more revisions to the list happen and anyone that watched uh you know <laughs> minus like people that somehow still think that i don't play this game or whatever um everyone else thanks for watching